Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? I'm Mariah and today we are going to be painting these snowflakes. So let's get into it. So as you can see, it's getting cold here in Connecticut. Today the high I think was like 37, which is still above freezing but too cold for me. So up here in my studio I do have a space heater, but it's still pretty chilly. So that's why I look like this today. Hopefully I won't get any paint on my jacket. I think if anything, it'll get in my sleeves. So we're just gonna be as careful as possible. And I have five of these snowflakes. So I think I'm gonna paint four in today's video and then save one to do like a TikTok or a reel and do like a close up pour so you guys can see it a little bit better. But um, I'm gonna go with the classic wintry snow vibes, whites, blues, silvers, keeping it very classic snowflakes because that's what I like. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. For these two, I'm gonna put all my colors in the cup and then just pour it out on the snowflake and we'll see how it turns out. So to start, I did a pretty generous white base. I'm gonna put some blue next. It's a nice medium blue. Next, we'll do just a little bit of dark blue. Throw in some silver. And I'm going to top it off with more white. So it kind of mixed itself as I went, but I'm just going to take this little straw and stir it around just to kind of get the colors to flow together a little bit more, and then I'll start pouring. I'm not sure if I used enough paint. It might be tricky to get um, color over all these edges because they're kind of a weird shape. We will see how it goes. I can always mix up more. Okay, I gave them a quick torch and now let's tilt them out and see how they look. So far I like the way that they appear, but we'll see if I have enough paint. Sorry if you can't see it at all. This looks awesome. I love it so far. I don't want to stretch the paint too thin, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. Wow, Winter Wonderland vibes. I love it. For my next one, the next two that we paint, I'll put a little bit more paint. 
but this is just gorgeous. This is, all right, I haven't even done the second one, but this is exactly what I was hoping for, envisioning. Mwah, I love it. Let's, let's do this one. I don't know if that's a good idea to put it over there. I don't want to mess up that pattern. I was trying to see if I could catch the paint, but I don't want to sacrifice the pattern. Wow, this one is spreading so lovely as well. Wow! Oh, I love these. I mean, they look a mess because the edges are crazy, but okay, we need more paint. That's fine. I don't have nearly anything on the table, so I guess I'll try to scoop it up and put it on, um, but I might end up covering it up with something prettier. But I guess it can't hurt to put some paint down just so that it'll be able to flow easier because we know that paint flows much better when there's already paint down because then it, there's less friction. Look at me thinking I know anything about science. <laughs> I think I'm clean so far. All right, I'm going to mix up more paint and we'll keep pouring. gonna move the paint around and then I'll touch up you'll see you'll see okay this one is done It's harder to tilt out these petals or whatever we want to call them. Um, so really I'm kind of just taking my finger and like, you know, spreading the paint and dotting it where I can because I don't want to tilt it too much because basically it'll end up affecting more than just the area that I'm working on. Like I'll be looking at one area and see paint fall off of a different area that I wasn't trying to adjust, so. It's a little tricky. Okay, here are the first two finished. You guys know me, I might end up touching these a little bit more, but right now I'm gonna set them off to the side and bring over the other two. So we can do two more. And what I learned from doing these first two is I think I just need to use more paint and that will help me get these petals, quote unquote, um, covered easier. I think overall they look very good. This one, I can see that the inside looks more white and the outside looks more blue. So I may end up trying to touch that up a little bit, but um, I think that if I use more paint, it'll spread into more of the petals easier, so I won't have to go in and do as many touch-ups, hopefully. We're learning as we go. Hi guys, the snowflakes are dry. This is a couple of days later, so I had to cut the video short and there's going to be a second part where I show you these other finished snowflakes on the left side. 
But here are the first two that I made in this week's video. I really love the way that they came out. Like I could not be happier. Can't wait to varnish these babies. Um, they're exactly the perfect winter wonderland snow vibe that I was going for and I'm really happy with them. <laughs> So stay tuned for part two where you'll see the making of the other two snowflakes. I just couldn't fit them all in one video because it was getting too long. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for part two next week on Sunday. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!